Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are in the Moon Series. We kicked off again this week with the Zygarde Sogaleo team. And in today's episode it's a little bit special because as we mentioned in yesterday's episode, but before we get into it, if you missed yesterday's or the day before's episode, make sure you go back up. I'll put a card up here for you. You can go back and check those out. There's some incredible matches. And we've been playing Raikou over what is a Tyranitar slot now. But as I said, we're into a bit of a special episode today. We're just going to have a bit of fun today to see what Scarfed Tyranitar can do in this core. You know, the problems that we've got with this team are the Eveltal, the Lunala, um, Xerneas to a certain extent, which we need to cover. We need to cover the checks for Sogaleo, which Scarf Tyranitar, I think, does really well at. So that's what we're going to try out today. It's going to be a lot of fun playing it, and I hope you enjoy it. But one of the things that I was thinking when playing Scarf Tyranitar is that predominantly you're going to see Kyogre, and it is going to be Scarf in this format. Yes, it will outspeed Tyranitar for sure. But you're going to get your sand up still, so you've still got that benefit even against Kyogre. This Tyranitar has got a weird spread, but it can take all sorts of things. It's in the description below with the team pace, so if you'd like to go and check it out, do that. The rest of the team's pretty the same as what, what we were playing, uh, just the Raikou switch for the Tyranitar. But the Tyranitar can take a Precipice Blades from an Adamant 252 Groudon. Unintimidated, it can take a water spot in the sand from a full power modest Kyogre. It can take a Moonblast from a Xerneas. It gets the knockout on Slanderous with Ice Beam. It gets the knockout on Cortana with Flamethrower. It's got Dark Pulse as well. So if we can get any sand chip to break that Shadow Shield on Lunala, we're going to pick up the knockout on that. We've got Rock Slide as well for the coverage to help us against Eveltal. So we've got a lot of little techs there. As I say, we're just going to give it a try today to see how it goes because it's something that I did want to try. I mentioned Drapion as well earlier in the week, but... I don't know if we're going to get that far, but we'll try the Tyranitar. As always though, guys, if you enjoy this content, make sure you do drop a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series, as well as our guides, our Flinch Squad circuit, our stream uploads, and everything else that we're going to be doing. Like I mentioned earlier in the week, we are going to be starting to do some Sword and Shield coverage, which is going to be really interesting, covering my opinions on things, things that I would like to see competitively and stuff like that. It might be out already, it might not be. It's just when I've got some time to do this extra content but it's going to be a lot of fun so we'll hop on to the ladder rating at the minute is 1696 so close to that 1700 mark like we were aiming for by the end of the week we'll kick off with legendary pokemon music and hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent if it does as always we'll just cut right to the chase and come right back but we've got our first opponent already christian from germany so getting straight into it I'm gonna jump over into team preview and it is what I think I saw before I flicked that screen. It is an Alolan Raticate. <laughs> Which is amazing. Okay, and we got the Lunala, so that's really good for us. So we've got Alolan Raticate, Xerneas, Lunala, Amoongus, Cortana, Incineroar. Like, I do not know what to expect from this Raticate. I really don't. I really have no idea what to expect from it. But whatever it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Right, okay. So, let us lead with... Um, I think what my kind of game plan was, Incineroar, Sogaleo, we're going to have Tyranitar in the back. And oh, although I really want the Zygarde in this match, and I do want the Zygarde in this match, I don't know if it, we're going to be able to bring it without the Misty Seed boost. But the Zygarde can still do some work without it. Although the one thing that I would worry about a little bit is the Amoongus if we don't bring the Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini doesn't have the best of times against Cortana, but we've got plenty to check the Cortana, especially with our Tita, although we're going to be locked in. And maybe all the switching around that we're going to do is probably better to bring the Finny in this matchup anyway. So let's do this. Let's lock in and uh, wish Christian all the best and all the style points for bringing that Alolan Raticate. So, it's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? Alolan Raticate, I hope they bring it. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I don't know what to expect from it at all. <laughs> I love seeing these quirky Pokemon though, they're, they're always like fun to see and uh, just people kind of being really imaginative and coming up with these really cool strategies and things like that, it's always, it's always, I always admire people to try these things out, you know, they might be just for a little bit of fun or a joke or stuff like that, but I mean at least you're trying them and the entertainment value is, is priceless. So we're going to see Incineroar and Lunala come out for my opponent. 
and uh, we'll lead off with Incineroar of our own and uh, as Sogaleo we'll get the full metal body activated so we're not going to take any damage from the opposing Incineroar um, what we're going to do is the game plan the game plan is to um, the game plan is to snarl and to switch in Tyranitar now even if our Incineroar gets faked out here we'll get Tyranitar in We'll break the Shadow Shield with our Sandstream. It's going to get brought to the field right now with Titar. And if the Z move comes into that slot, Tyranitar is just going to be like brushing it off. Easy, easy game. And then we can Dark Pulse at the next turn or Rock Slide or whatever we want to do. There's the Fake Out. It is going to be into the Incineroar. So we're not going to be able to do much here. There's that Moongeist Beam coming out into the Lunala. And we do so much check checkmating here because Tyranitar just looks at that and says, huh? Did you see something, Lunala? And now the Shadow Shield's broke, so that's really good for us. We're going to be able to either adjust here, because I feel like the Lunala probably switches out. So what I'm going to do is try and stay a little bit ahead of the game. I'm going to go for a Snarl here. Keep Tyranitar for later on, because I suspect that we'll see the Xerneas come onto the field now. And I'm going to bring Sogaloa in. Problem is if Lunala protects here, stays on the field, and we've got Tyranitar out, and then the Incineroar pivots out into Xerneas, and we are going to see that. Yeah. So, we'll get it. Okay. This is fine, because if Xerneas does come in, we are going to get a Snarl off, and we've still got that nice switch into Titor in the back, and Titor is not going to take, like, it's going to take even less damage from Xenala. It's going to be Cartana, which again, I do not mind at all. Like, at all. Get the Snarl off into this Cartana, potentially break a Sash, but uh, it does. It does, actually. It is able to take that, uh, dodge the Snarl, which is a little bit frustrating. Um. Okay, now it's a bit trickier. Can we take a Sacred Sword with Incineroar? I don't know if we can. Maybe it's a good time to bring in Tapu Fini into that slot because we want to get the Intimidate onto Cartana. We'll just protect Sogaleo. So we don't want to overcompensate here. We do want to try and win this game. So we'll get Finny in, we'll get this terrain up, which is nice. We'll probably see a Sacred Sword into the Finny slot. The next turn we can get Incineroar in for Sogaleo. Um, and even if we see a Sacred Sword into that slot, we should be able to take it. There's a Sacred Sword, like I say, it's into that Tapu Fini. Uh, it's just a big. Uh, I just don't feel like... Uh, we're going to see the double up into that slot, which is interesting. Hmm. Okay. I mean, Sogaleo, the thing is, we could Z-move that Lunala now. Um, and get Tapu Fini out of here into Incineroar. Because I think the Z-move will take... We'll take a Moongeist Beam, it's just the Z move that I do worry about a little bit. And I think my opponent might try and predict that the Sogaleo is not going to stay on the field. So if we can Z move that Lunala, we should be able to take it down. We're going to get the Z move as well in today, which is really nice. So we'll get the Incineroar back in. Get this all important Intimidate onto the Cortana, which is the main thing that we're really worried about here. And maybe all the switching that we've been doing has got my opponent guessing as well. That's what I would maybe think about. Sacred Sword there is not ideal, and Moongeist Beam doubling up into that slot potentially, I would imagine. Mm. Hopefully we take it, we're so bulky. Oh, it's into the Incineroar. Excellent. Excellent news, because now it's time! I'm going to have to cut this scene, but we are going to get the Signature Z move, unfortunately cutting it, because it's a, it's a cool animation, Rolly Polly, um, Lion King, man. Uh, Lion King, Lion, really. There we go. So there we go, it is into the Lunala, is it enough? It is enough to pick up the knockout. So we get rid of the big threat here for us. Um, and just the pressure that that Tyranitar is causing, the switching that we've done, keeping our opponent guessing is all really helping us out here. We've got the superpower to get the Cartana this next turn, the superpower to get the Incineroar, and you've got to imagine that the Xerneas is probably in the back. It's not that Raticate, which is a little bit sad for us. Um, the thing is though, if we can get if we can get Tyranitar onto the field now, that is ideal for us. That is that is so ideal for us. Um, we have got access to Fake Out now, which we can take advantage of. The Incineral obviously has uh, Fake Out as well. One of the things I kind of want to do is probably switch into Tapu Fini here and just protect our, um, our Sogaleo this turn. 
because I don't really want to be losing Incineroar, and if we can get another Intimidate onto this Cortana, it's going to help us out so much more. Um, and getting an Intimidate onto the Incineroar is also going to be like super beneficial for us, because the last thing we want to be doing is taking big damage from uh, a, fl a Flare Blitz here. So, um, we will just be able to protect with Sogaleo. And there's the Flare Blitz coming in. Yeah, that's fine. Sandstorm subsides. Right, I think now is a good time to bring in the Incineroar. I don't really want to superpower though, that's the, the thing. Um, I feel like the Incinero the Cartana potentially switches out here. Um, I'm going to bring an Incineroar. I'm going to bring an Incineroar. And I'm going to go for the superpower. Superpower. I've got to get the Cortana. Once we get the Cortana, we're fine. I feel like the Cortana is going to be sashed though, which is really frustrating because that Snarl earlier on, if it just hit, we could really pick up the knockout here. It's if the Cortana switches out, but I don't think it's going to because it outspeeds everything on our side of the field anyway, so it would have switched out first. It's gone for that Leaf Blade. Hopefully there's just procs. Oh, we just miss a berry procking, which is super, super frustrating. We're going to see the super power. We'll probably see a Flare Blitz as well into the Sogaleo. We're not actually able to pick up the knockout there. A little bit sad. And then just a U-turn. That's into Sogaleo. Okay. That Cortana is still minus two, though, so that's fine. And we've got the Fake Out going into this next turn. And the Xerneas is coming in. Okay. So our game plan is preserving... Preserving our Sogaleo at all costs. Um, I think we stop and deny the Xerneas setting up here. Um, and what I'm going to do is get the Titor back in. I feel like the Cortana switch is out now. And what will happen is if we can just fake out... Oh, we're going to see the Xerneas switch out. Well, that's interesting. Huh. What I was saying is, well, the Cortana might protect here. It's just I want the berry propped on our, on our Incineroar. And by getting the sand up and getting T-Tar in, we check the Cortana potentially. Especially if our berries procs. It, it puts us in such a better position. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Excellent. Things pan out as we planned. There's a fake out. We'll get a little bit of chip damage onto this Incineroar, which is always helpful. And uh, here we go. Berry. Ahoy. Ahoy hoy. Okay, the messy terrain, does it disappear now? Yeah, perfect time for us to get our... Um, I think I'm just going to go for... Like, we're going to get faked out into the Tyranitos slot. I mean, we could double into the Cartana with just a Flare Blitz and a Flamethrower. Like, Titar's not, like, super, 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 super important now. It's more the Sogaleo over everything else. So, I, I mean, we could see the Cartana switch out, reset the Intimidate drops. It would make a lot of sense. But I don't mind getting just a Flare Blitz into the Xerneas as well, at the same time. Okay, there we go. There we go. The Xerneas. I mean, if Titar's faked out here, that's ideal, because then we can lock into Rock Slide this next turn. Don't see that. I'm going to see probably... A U-turn. Uh, critical hit. Flare Blitz. Ooh. Maybe predicting a switch in from Iron Cineral, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we will be able to get a Flare Blitz into this, this Xerneas as well, which is going to be super nice, especially with... Uh, yeah, we're not in a great position with, with Tyranitar right now. Um, but Tyranitar is going to be our key as long as the Cartana's kind of kicking around later in this game. I'm going to try and go for another Flare Blitz into the Xerneas. Um, we might go down. And um, mm, I don't really want to bring in Sogaleo on a potential Flare Blitz. Um, I could bring in Tapu Fini though. Oh, it's difficult though because if you see the Geomancy here... It's not so hot. But I feel like if you're the Xerneas, you may just want to go for the Moonblast. But Geomancying will be a much... It will put you in a much better position for the late game. But pre Preserve Titar. We'll get Tapu Fini in. 
We might get a berry propped with Finny here. That would be ideal, but I, mm, I don't think so. Xenia's just protecting. We're gonna see a U-turn. <sighs> now just a flare blitz. It's gonna be into Sinor. Wow, it actually takes us down. I didn't expect that to do so much damage. Okay. I could potentially just get Tyranitar in here um, and just Rock Slide. It will be enough to get the Xerneas. But then we're going to have to pivot around a little bit more. Um, yeah, let's Rock Slide. It should be enough to get the Xerneas, I'm hoping. And we can go for an Icy Wind as well. And we're going to get the chip onto the Incineroar. And with Sogaleo, we'll be able to deal with... Yeah, there's a Rock Slide. Come on, Flinch Squad, let's do it. Flinch Squad! Oh, we don't actually get it. We get the Incineroar, though. Is that crit? Crit on the Incineroar. Huh. We get the flinch, though. That's huge. Flinch! <laughs> We're so bad. We're so bad. I apologize to my opponent. Icy Wind. Um, yeah, Tito. Scarf Tito. For the win. Um, and, yeah, we've just got the... Yeah, we get the berry now. And then we've got Cortana to deal with. So it's super fine. Because we just switch out. Titar into Sogaleo and then whatever happens to Finny, we get the Titar back in with the flamethrower and we can totally deal with this thing. I mean we probably don't even need to but we'll just prolong it a little bit longer. We'll go for an icy wind as well while we're at it. Um, we might see a sacred sword come out from the Cortana. <clears throat> and there's a leaf blade, it's into the top of Finny. This will take us down but like I say, I mean, it doesn't matter now because Tyranitar come back in. It's got the flamethrower and Cartana cannot, cannot outbeat us, cannot survive the flamethrower. And Titar going to steal, steal the show for us in game one of the day that we bring it against the Lunala Xerneas team. And doing some work. Um, the flinch, I don't know if it mattered. It probably did. It, it would have changed the dynamics at the, the, the end of the game. We'll go Super Power. We've got the Z-move, and there's the, the flame bar into the Cartana. And we'll be able to close this one up pretty nicely here with this flame throw. And T R, my favorite Pokemon of all time, doing the big work, kicking us off today. So, <laughs> excellent. Couldn't be happier. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. That's a big thing. So, it's nice to see T R in, in the Moon series doing some work. Um, but yes, very good game to my opponent, and apologies for the flinch. I know it sounds bad apologizing for something that you have no control over, but you know, I I would feel I'd feel a bit hard done by if I was Christian in that last game. Because like I say, it would have changed the dynamics if the T Tod went down there to a potential moonblast. I don't think it would have. I think it would survive. Um but the pace down below, if you would like to do the calc to check it out, then then do, be my guest and let me know. That would be amazing. But we'll go into our next one. We've hit that 1706 mark now with our rating, which is super good. So we will go with... Did we go on a Crossman version 2? Yeah, let's go with that one. You know what's going to happen, though. It's going to take us ages to find an opponent. Oh, Jean Moyo from Spain. So this is going to be a really good one. And we'll go straight into team preview. And we are going up against a Landorus, Toxicroak, Ferrothorn, Kyogre, ho -Oh, and Raichu team. So, um, I mean, if you ask for a team to play with Tyranitar, I don't think we get much better of a one. So I'm going to bring Tyranitar up front for sure because we've got the snipe on the Landorus with the Ice Beam. I think we'll go, uh, like, let's just figure out what we're going to bring here. I think we want Zygarde, definitely. Um, in this match, so we want Tapu Fini, and then we probably want Toxicroak as well. So let's go Toxicroak. Let's go Zygarde. Let's go Fini, and let's let's get this game started. Do we need Sogaleo in this game? I mean, it's nice against the Ferrothorn, and that's the other thing. Like, if we aren't bringing Incineroar or Sogaleo, we are relying so heavily, so heavily on our. I mean, the one thing we could potentially do is... Hmm. 
because Tyranitar doesn't have the best time against Toxic Rock. It maybe leaves Zygarde at home. But Zygarde, I think, can still do some work here um, and bring Sogaleo. But it can't touch the... No, I'm going to just stick with Zygarde and just we're going to have to play super cautiously with Tyranitar to make sure we've got the flamethrower for the for the end game if that Ferrothorn does come, which it's likely it's going to. We need to be careful against this Toxicroak as well with that Tyranitar because it, it's got low kick or drain punch, so we need to be super careful around that. I'm going to see Landorus and Kyogre come out for my opponent. We've got such an easy turn one as well. We'll have to keep an eye on where this Intimidate sits in, in line with our Sandstream. Hopefully the rain goes up first, which it does indicate in it's Scarf Kyogre. Um, and as long as this Landorus isn't super bulky. Indicating. I wonder if my opponent's picked up on that the, the Sandstream went up before the Intimidate. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But we can put this into practice right now and get the snipe. This should take down just a 4 HP standard Landorus. Ice Beam will take it down. We'll just fake out the Kyogre here. Landorus probably doesn't feel too worried right now. Um, we know it's not Scarfed. Um, it's probably Z-Move, so it could protect. It definitely, like 100% could protect. Kyogre going to switch out. Going to see Ferrothorn come in. Not so ideal for us, but it's so tempting for the Landorus just to... Um, to oh, it's going for the protect here. Okay. I'll get this Ice Beam into it. Iron Barb's not going to be ideal for us. Uh, and this is where the Ferrothorn would come in really, really useful. Um, I mean, we can Drain Punch the Ferrothorn, get some damage onto it. I don't think it takes us down. Uh, oh, it's going to do a lot of damage to Tito though in the process. That's the thing. And it's probably the Landorus switches out here, 100%. So we could pull a double switch. We definitely could pull a double switch. We go into Tapu Fini. Uh, Zygarde for, for T-Tar and then Tapu Fini for Toxicroak. And we need to keep this T-Tar for later on in the match. Like I say, prioritizing the Ferrothorn with that Flamethrower is going to be our key. Because that's a, uh, it's a definite win con for my opponent. Is Tyranna going to switch? Should be Landra switching out next, ideally. Yes, there we go. Kyogre coming back in. Ho oh, oh, coming in. That's still fine. And I'm hoping the Ferrothorn chases the Toxicroak here with the Gyro Ball. Because I feel like maybe that's the one thing that's causing a lot of issues. But then again, the Ice Beam from the T-Tar makes a lot of sense if you attack into either slot here for my opponent. Because both things are a pain in the backside for my opponent to deal with. We're going to see a Gyro Ball. It's not going to do too much to Zygarde here. Um, now we're in a, a really nice position to actually just go for um, a Swagger Thousand Arrows. And I think I want to Swagger here because we've got access to Nature's Madness in the next turn. We've got to be a bit careful this Ferrothorn throwing out a potential Power Whip into Tapu Fini. Which wouldn't be ideal. And we we are we haven't brought Incineroar here so we can't intimidate this hot or could potentially have a Z move. I'd likely say it's on the Landorus though. So we'll see what we can do. Like, this is going to be a tough match. It's going to be a tough match regardless. But we'll get the Swagger off. We're going to outspeed the Hot or as well with our Zygarde, which is really nice. Um, yeah. I wonder if we see just a Whirlwind then come out. Hmm. Be interesting if we do. Beach Seed. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna whirlwind or roll the Zygarde. Yep. Tyranitar. Toxic rock. <laughs> not the thing we want to be seeing right here. Ugh. But I mean it's not the worst either. It's not it's really not the worst. The leech seed's a bit annoying for Tapu Fini, for sure. This dang Ferrothorn is a pain in the backside. It's such a pain. We should have we should have had Incineroar here. Uh, I mean, we could pull a double switch, get Zygarde back in onto the field. My opponent's probably yeah. I'm gonna switch Toxicroak out for Titar. Hopefully my opponent doesn't predict this. 
and I'm gonna switch Zygarde in. The whole has gotta feel like mm, it's a little bit threatened from the potential fake out from the Toxic Hawk, so it may want to protect here. It probably recovers, takes this opportunity to recover, but if we can get T Tar in for free, we pressure with that rock slide the next turn, we pressure with the flamethrower onto the Ferrothorn, which is really useful for us. So we'll get Zygo back out onto the field. Hot all recovering. Okay, where's this Ferrothorn gonna go? I feel like not having the Intimidate here is really punishing us. Jarabal. No. No! Tita survives. Okay. That is all we need. That is all we need. Okay. Let's go flamethrower. I mean, we need to. And let's go thousand hours. The whole all has to switch out here for Landorus, I think, to try and get the Intimidate onto everything. If we can nab the Ferrothorn, this matchup gets so much easier for us. And it's just a surprise factor, I think, more than anything. Come on, let it happen. Let the Hot Oil switch out. It doesn't want to sit in front of a Tyranitar. It knows it's scarfed. There we go. Come on, Landorus. No! <laughs> oh, this is not how we wanted to go down. Kyogre, it does make sense. Get rid of, you know. I wonder if this plus 1,000 hours will be enough to get the Ferrothorn. Oh, it's nowhere near going to be enough. This Ferrothorn's just a bulky bulky horrible Pokemon <laughs> it's not gonna go away oh and it has the berry as well of course it does this is why this team's like in the 1700s it's just built like a tank I'm gonna say bye to a uh, Tyranitar unfortunately oh dear hmm. which is not ideal um my quickfire answer to all these problems has just gone away but we'll be fine uh Let's get, let's get, I mean we could get Toxic Hook in, what's our game plan here? We can't leave, we can't leave Zygarde out against this Kyogre, it's definitely got Ice Beam as well. I wonder if we can get the Ferrothorn with our Toxic Hook Drain Punch. I kind of, I really want a Drain Punch here. I really do. But I don't think the Drain Punch is going to be enough to get it. We've got to try and chip it down. And I'm going to switch in Finny for Zygarde. It's like the one thing we've got to deal with. Hot oh, oh. Let's hope this Kyogre stays in. Oh, the Ferrothorn going to switch out. My opponent's just playing it like super straight down the line, safe. Making sure that they are taking advantage as much as possible whenever they can. Let's see where we go with the Kyogre Ice Beam. It's going to be into this Finny. Yeah. I mean, the game's not over for us yet, but it's getting close to being pretty, pretty close to being over. We've got the Drain Punch, a little bit of damage into this Landorus here. The problem is now the Z move on the Landorus is going to be into the Finny, I would imagine. Shut the Finny down. But I mean, you could go into the Toxic Rock here. Uh, where are we gonna go? Okay. Like we need to icy win the Landorus. That's the the only thing. Um. <sighs> There's not really too much we can do, to be honest. We've got nothing to hit this Landorus with, like super effective. We could switch the Finny out, sacrifice Zygarde, get Finny back in, uh, and then hope that you don't target the, the Toxic Croc. That could be an option, but the fake out could be more beneficial later on. Let's go, uh, Icy Wind, switch our Toxic Croc into Zygarde. Hope that the Kyogre doesn't, yeah, doesn't Ice Beam that slot, so. The problem is though, I feel as though the Landorus nukes the Finny now. That would make the most sense. Just get rid of that threat completely. But you might be chasing the Toxicroc. That could be the other option. Landorus just gonna protect you, okay. So we'll get an icy wind off into the hole. Do I coil here? That's the other question. Do I coil? 
Because I could potentially coil. I could potentially protect. I could just take this opportunity to coil. Or just attack. I think just attacking is just what we need to do. Just thousand arrows. And icy wind. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what we need to do. I think we just need to attack. Plain and straight. It's going to be so difficult. There's a Z move. Hmm. I mean, either target here makes sense. Like, you take down the Zygarde, then ho -Oh has a, the, the, the win con. Uh, you take down the Finny, the Landers has a way easier time because there's no Icy Wind coming out. So, I mean, out of both, at this point in time, I probably prefer the Finny to go down right now and have the Zygarde in so it can at least hit the hole. Which we are going to be able to get and do some at least decent ish damage to the Landorus. It's not great. We could have coiled here for sure. Whirlwind coming in again. I don't mind this too much. We get the Toxic Hook and we get exactly the same board position as we had before. We've just got the fake out. Like we did, wouldn't, it's not changing the, the flow of the match too much. Um, and we can get Zygarde in. Now I think one thing my opponent probably does now is switch the Landorus out. What do they? Could they? Are they just going to Earthquake? Are they just going to Earthquake? That would be the thing. Because that's the other thing. Just like, I would probably just go, well, there's Fake out here. I can protect this turn. We're going to have to try and make some plays because, yeah, there's no. we're just going to take an Earthquake now. There's no way we take this with Toxicroc. No minus one. Zygarde will take it. And we are going to get a power construct, so it's Zygarde versus the world now. Ho oh, oh, actually, from the Thousand Hours goes down. Does open the door, though, for Kyogre to come back in. And we do get a coil, which is quite good for us right now. I mean, we're going to be able to probably push this a little bit further than what we kind of thought we might do initially, but we've not got the special defensive boost. Kyogre can come in, it's got Ice Beam. It's not looking too good for us, my friends. And just like, I think this is the problem, like when you come up against a really well-built team and it's piloted so well, like we're seeing here, it makes it difficult to get the, the, the kind of surprise knockouts that you want to get on something like Ferrothorn um, and the Landorus uh, because your opponent's not overcompensating so much in these games. Kyogre's gonna come in. Uh, for... Like, we don't take an Ice Beam. We definitely don't take an Ice Beam. And we definitely don't pick up the Knockout with an Extreme Speed. I'm going to go for a 1,000 hours just in case. Yeah, nah. It's Ice Beam all the way. That's all you need to do. That is it. And very good game to my opponent. Really nice team. Really nice to see something like this featured on the channel as well. And it's been a really nice episode. I've really enjoyed it today. We had a really good game, first game. Seeing the team perform really well. And then we come up against this really solid team from Juan. And um, see him pilot it so well. And we did try. But, I mean, he just made the better players there every time. So, um, it's just, yeah. He was able to lock us down and getting rid of the Tarantar like Looking back, the Incineroar would have been a lot better to bring with the Toxicroc. Then we've got that nice switch in synergy. We've got the Intimidate support. Um, I think probably the Zygarde and the Tapafinian maybe leave the Tyranitar at home in that one. But we have no regrets for that one. We just take lessons, learn lessons from those games, and that's what we do. But really high quality player like that, it's good taking note from them as well, especially for, for everyone watching this as well, as including myself, of course. But we're going to wrap things up there, guys. I've had a great episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back with the Raikou tomorrow. We did say we'd feature the Tyranitar, um, but we'll be back with the Raikou squad tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments down below. I'll look forward to reading through those, getting back to you very soon. And uh, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.